Hello, and today I'm going to talk about Trello. So Trello is the web-based management application. So this is the Trello website. So Trello can allow you to collaborate with your team member and track the progress for your project or your work. Okay. So you can work together with your group member or your team or your or your staff. Okay, so so Trello can track your working progress or your project progress. So Trello is free, and but in free version, Trello has some limitation compared with business and enterprise. Okay. So this is the pricing. So you can look at the comparison between free business and enterprise. For example, free only have 10 megabyte per file attachment. So the business class version have 250 and megabyte per file attachment. So this is the comparison between three version. So right now, let's create a free account by clicking this sign up okay enter your email you also can connect with your google or microsoft account and also your apple account so continue so enter your full name and your password Okay. After that, you can click sign up. So you can naming your bot right now. So so you can see you can see the preview. So this is your bot. Okay. So the this is the list. So you can change your list name, like thing to do, what you are doing. And done. So this is this is a template. So you can change it anytime you want. So let's proceed. So in here we can add a title to your card in the to do list. So what do you want to do? Example like okay. So after you finish, you can click proceed. So in here you can create your checklist. Okay. So after you finish, you can see this is your bot. You can change your bot name. So let's go to home first. Okay. So right now we need to create a team. Okay, your team name. Okay, you can choose your team type. Small business. So after that you can enter your team description but but it is optional okay so let's get continue after you create your team in here you can invite your team member so just type in their email okay right now let's do, it, do this later so this is your team so you can edit your team member in here you can invite your team member and you also can setting your team visibility private or you can change it to public okay so below here are the business class portion so you need to upgrade if you want this fun function so you can edit your team profile okay you can edit it. so right now we go to home okay and board okay so we can create a new board for our team 
you can add bot title okay you can change your team so you can change the background okay so let's create a bot so in here you can enter your list title and then press enter okay and done okay so in things to do we can add a card we can enter a title for this card like what thing you want to do for your project so example like finding cast finding three customer you can save okay after you adding the card you want to add so you can move your card around this and if you if you are doing this so you can move doing and after you finish your work you can move to done so we as a team can see our progress <coughs> so in here inside the card we can customize by adding description so after you edit it press, press save okay after you save you will see the small logo pop up in the card here so that means inside the card has a description okay so we also can add checklist so enter your checklist title okay you can add an item inside the checklist so let's add customer two So you can add another checklist. Okay, another checklist. Done. Okay. After you're finding the first customer, you can go to checklist, checking this. Okay. After you complete the second, let's click complete. Just tick this. Okay this okay complete okay after complete you can see the card have a little logo pop up so that means the checklist inside this card has already completed okay so after that you also can delete your item this okay so can delete this Okay. After you complete your task, you can move to done. So right now, let's say you want to set a due date for your task. So let's click this. So click save. So we can add a due date by clicking here, due date. And then you can select your due date. Then set reminder 15 minutes before Friday. So you can set your time. So after you selected your due date, you can click save. Okay. So you will see the due date, and in here you will see the logo. So if you if you already complete your task before the due date, you can click here. So he will show as complete. So we can move. Forward. So we can move to done. So right now, let's say you want to attach a file into your card. We can select a card. So you can click attachment. Okay, you can attach your file from your computer, your Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or you also can paste a link. So let's say. Okay, I attach a file for my computer. 
Okay, you can see the file attached. You can remove cover. Okay. So let's say you want to attach a link. So we can copy the link and paste it. And you can enter your link name. Okay, after that click attach. Okay, so the link will attach in the attachment. Right now, let's create a label for your card. Select a card. Okay, so in here, label, you can create a label. So you can select the label color. Okay, you can enter the name and then save. Okay, completed. So you also can add multiple label. Is okay. So the card will show multiple label. Okay, you can click it, and he will show the content inside the label. You and you also can delete it by placing the label. So in your team project, so if you want to invite someone, you can click here to invite and then you can invite with link or you can enter their email address. Okay, and then you click send invitation. So you can enter the name and invite the member you want to invite. Okay, so let's say this this task I want to assign to my group member so we can press the card and then we click member and then we can assign our group member okay, to this card so the group member will show up in here so after your team member already assigned to this card so Every time I do an update to this card, okay, so the person who assigned to this card will get updated and will get reminded. If you don't want your group member to assign to this card, you can click here, click member, then okay, click again. So if you want to remove your team member you can click here and then you can click remove from board remove okay so right now let's say you want to copy this card so you can click here and then you can click copy you can change the name okay so okay. you can select you want to keep the content inside the card like the label and the attachment so where you want to copy to you want to copy to your another board or you want to copy to another list so let's copy to doing doing this so let's create okay so the card will copy to the doing list so if you got so many cards so you, you don't want to check your card one by one, right? Okay. So we need to follow the card you want to follow. Click member, click your name. Okay. So you will see the logo popping up. So that means you are watching this card. So every time the member making change, you can view your change in here. Notification. You will be reminded every time your group member change the content inside the card in the in the notification in the top right corner so it will show up in here so if you want to delete the task or the card so you can click here and then you can click archive so okay the card will be deleted so if you accidentally delete the file that you want this okay we can click here show menu 
so we can click more and then we can click archive item so this is a thing that you deleted so you can send to bot okay you will get back to the bot if you really don't want this card you can press delete and he will be removed okay so if you want to change your background you can click show menu okay you can click change background okay you can change your you can change photo okay so you also can change color so you can select the picture you want so let's say you have so many cup so you can go to you can go to menu and then you can click search, search cut okay you can search your cut by using label complete so these two cut have the complete label okay is that you can search your card by using their card name like okay you also can search your card by selecting the group member you assign okay you can also search your card with using due date so in here team visible you can change your visibility to private so private mean only the this board member can see and edit this spot so these two so if you change the team so that means your whole team will see this spot and they can edit this spot so you also can set to public so everyone can see your board so so right now let's say you want to copy your checklist you can click here you can select a card then click checklist and then you can select item you want to copy from so customer can select add so he will copy the checklist you selected so in here you can add another card so you can type this is new card. so while you are typing you can click here so you can change the card position when you are typing okay. so right now if you want to filter the card so you want the bot only show the card that having your name okay you can simply click Q and then you will see every card that under your name so like this okay, you can press Q again to cancel it so this is a quick shortcut so if you want to quickly follow a card you can hover your mouse to the card and then press space okay and then press space so you will follow the card you can cancel it by pressing space again okay so if you want to add a due date you can hover your mouse into the card and then you press D and then the due date will come up okay you can select your due date save okay you can press D again to remove so this shortcut will be faster compared to other method so right now let's select a card and in the description 
okay we can change the front by clicking this so this is the formatting help for example like if you want to make your word bold so you can so you can follow the format to change your word formatting so right now in the right corner you got sticker so you can add sticker to your card like this so it will look more colorful so that's it for the channel tutorial and thank you